Hello, everyone. So, continuing our discussion of light, water, and firmament. So, before we we corresponded it to zinc, and we then we, we started talking about fertility, and uh, so now let's let's go back to understanding it uh, a bit more in terms of the health of the body. So, first the uh, the initials of light, water, and firmament, or Mayim and Rakia, stand for Amar. So every moment, Amar means to say, so every moment God is speaking reality into being. This is a very important, maybe even one of the most basic meditations and thoughts to have in mind, as, as we learn from the Baal Shem Tov, of that every moment God is, is recreating reality. So if a person is not currently not feeling well, in a in, the term is in a blink of an eye, that that uh, God can bring the the healing to that person, and they, they could be com- completely healed like a new person. So it's not like a new person. Every moment, every moment we are we are created anew. So this this should be uh, uh, while we're praying for for everyone to have a complete healing uh, for this. Uh, Megafa for this plague to be re- removed from our midst. Uh, this, this is like in an instant. We, we should have this in mind at every moment that uh, God should remove this this from us. So we, we spoke a lot about Keter, the superconscious, and, and related in uh, another book by Rabbi Ginsberg, Body, Mind, and Soul, the Keter corresponds to the respiratory system. So I'm going to just read from page uh, 26 of 137, The Riddle of Creation. Again, another book by Rabbi Ginsberg. So Keter corresponds to both light and the physical response is a will to inspire or impregnate. I'm just going to say it for now. Then we'll we'll sit on it for a second and, and think about it. The next is Chachma, which corresponds to... Uh, Chachma is, is wisdom. Keter is, as we discussed, is crown, the divine channel of, of crown, the superconscious. Chachma is wisdom, corresponds to water. And the physical response is the volition towards consummation. This is the male consciousness. Okay? And then Bina, which is understanding, corresponds to firmament, as we've been discussing, firmament, rakia. And the physical response is initiation of physical physical sensation, like we discussed in terms of the uh, of the egg, the desire to to become an embryo. Okay. So that's understanding that the keter, the whole the whole breathing exercises, breathing joy, and meditating. On filling, uh, filling our, our life in healing, she'ifa, and aspiring, uh, uh, living a, a joyous and, and motivated life. So that was all in order that every cell of our being should be infused with with divine consciousness. Okay. So now I'm going to read from a, a paragraph from page 148 of Body, Mind, and Soul. In Kabbalah, we are taught that the word woe, hoy. As referred, as used by Isaiah, refers to a state in which spiritual light and life force disappear from the body, in particular, the life force that normally extends to all parts of the body by means of the blood, disappears from the body and returns to its source in the unconscious realm of the mind. The mind is no longer able to affect the limbs to permeate the body with the innate Ability to understand what is good for it and what is bad for it. So a, a proper circulatory system is is the result of uh, of uh, in body, mind, and soul it corresponds to bina as well, to understanding. And it it starts off by by having. Uh, by, by 
having a proper life force, having having proper being properly inspired by spiritual light entering every limb, every every cell of our of our being. So if we go back to the to the New York Times article that I uh, cited in the previous in the previous video uh, regarding uh, cytokine storms, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read this. A patient battling a cytokine a cytokine storm may have an abnormally fast heart rate, fever, and a drop in blood pressure. So. There's more to that article. I just wanted to to quote to, to to again to bring out. This is just introductory material to bring out the correspondence between the respiratory system, our reaction to to foreign invaders, to to thing to things into coming at us, and usually in a healthy way, the the uh, the immune system will respond properly. But this is this is uh, this is the case is that maybe it doesn't know how to respond or maybe it's it's confusing it views it as as uh, um, the, the reactions are, are not proper reactions so we're 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 trying to trying to to ground ourselves with uh, spiritually to understand to, uh, to have the proper mindset for going into all of this. And one of the the most harmful things is to overreact with uh, with with unnecessary uh, with fear and, and worry and, and all these things that that we need to, to to focus ourselves first of all to focus our breathing we have a, a the meditation on breathing with every breath we take that God is renewing us breathing into us new life to 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 strengthen our faith, to, 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 to know that uh, all of this is by divine providence. And in every moment that God is recreating reality, and with every breath He's breathing with, uh, to, within us new life. But it's also an identification. Identification of why. So again, if we go back to the light water firmament, that I'm just going to read, I think it's helpful to understand the spiritual underpinnings of a photon and electron. And why, why, why is it important? I think I'm going to try to bring that out. But first, first let's... Okay, here, here's, here, here's a, good, a good portion, an instructive portion for, for our topic. The first stage of psychological energy before it becomes water is the wave state. The second water stage is composed of droplet-like photons, like partic light particles. So we have the wave particle du duality, which it's later explained. So I'm going to just jump to that. A, a photon is formless energy, and it, it, it reflects the wa wave particle du duality. That's what it explains here. Okay. So that's light, light and water are representative of this, of this, uh, we're beginning to under, understand that there is this, this duality. And, and here we, we explained that it's the, the relationship between the superconscious and the conscious, be, between superconscious thought, uh, superconscious, and, and, and then, then conscious thought. Okay. The third stage, the firmament manifests once it transforms into a hyper-energetic electric state within the electrons, which are the components that receive the extra energy. So what happens? A photon is formless energy. An electron is the most elementary particle of matter. When a photon is absorbed by an electron, it transforms from energy into matter. So this is all, all in order to, to understand what it means that 
in the terminology of, of the Zohar, the, the higher waters kiss the lower waters. There's, a, there's some unification point that's going on between our, the spiritual realm and, and the physical, right? So you have, you have a doctor that, that's working all day to, to heal people, and that's very good. But they're messengers of healing, and the source of the healing is, is in the spiritual realms, and it comes down into the physical realms. We just have to connect the two. So when we talk about, about light, water, and firmament, right? So light and water, this is experience of light and water, male and female, particle and wave, is experienced together in a photon, in a in in the light itself that's entering into into every cell of our being, which is the divine light that we our consciousness is that it, this is the divine light that, that's entering into every cell of our being. And then what? And then it and, and then it infuses. It's it we should have healing. It should it should, it should uh, which leads to also uh, healthy blood, health, healthy circulation, healthy. Um, as we as we read from 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 body, mind, and soul, that the spiritual light is able to permeate. If the spiritual light doesn't, God forbid, if it doesn't permeate, then you have uh, circulatory issues. God forbid, which are now being uh, discovered. That there is a God forbid a clotting that can result from from prolonged uh, um, symptoms, COVID nineteen symptoms. So, so what are we what are we getting at? Is that is that the, the cloud? So usually, where in this whole discussion do you, do you have a cloud? Well, this was the experiment that that proved. <laughs> Well, that, that showed, at least empirically, the double slit experiment that showed that, that a photon is both a wave and a particle. And what happened was, is that if, if uh, this is uh, on page 22 of, of, um, of, of the book 137, The Riddle of Creation. So photons, if, if photons are just particles, then, then, like like a spray paint, you you know you you spray through the holes, and then it goes through, and then that's it. But what happened was, however, if light is a wave, the result of this experiment are very different. There are still only two rays that can, that actually pass through the slits, but since they are waves, as soon as they traverse the screen, they begin to bend and interfere with one another. Thus, an interference pattern is observed on the viewing screen. So when I when I heard about uh, cytokine storms and the overreaction of the immune system and not being able to to process and to, to filter in uh, again in, in, a, in a psychological and in, in a, according to, to to these teachings the first thing I thought of was was, was well. Is the body properly processing? Is the, is the, does the body have proper identification of of what this is, of what the source of this is, of this of this uh, of this foreign uh, of this virus? And you keep, the thing you keep on hearing is that it's unknown. It's unknown. We, it's it's novel, right? Which means it's new. But first, we have to know ourselves. So let me read another section of um, the body, mind, and soul. So. To identify with our, our true purpose, our true, uh, and to, to, to go according to, uh, 
to God's uh, God's purpose and God's mission for us in this world. It takes a correction. It, it, so Hod has has a tendency to veer off course. So we talked about Hod being corresponding to the immune system, and so sometimes the immune system uh, fights against itself, and that's why, uh, in, in that case, it's uh, the need for an immunosuppressant because the immune system is uh, is, is not uh, is not functioning properly. One second, I'm just um Almost, almost there. So in, instead of committing ourselves to serving God and dedicating our lives to his divine plan, plan, we may veer off course and end up making a commitment to the very opposite. With regard to the to the body, the book of Daniel describes the sick body's inability to properly acknowledge what is true and good with the self and non-self. My pleasant appearance was hor horribly altered. The Hebrew word used for pleasant appearance is hod. When hod is spelled backwards, it reads dava, which means to be ill. Kabbalah explains that the quality of hod during a time of exile a dysfunctional state where normal conditions appear, conditions disappear and confuse, confusion sets in, is that of illness or infirmity or dava. So this is page uh, 149 and 150 of, uh, of Body, Mind, and Soul. So there, there's more to it there, and then it, and then it goes into... Um, to, to more about uh, autoimmune diseases, but I wanted to focus uh, this this video on again this paradigm of of light, light, water, and firmament. So again, so we have we have this this transition from the superconscious to the conscious. And we have this transition from the higher waters to the lower waters. So the divine wisdom uh, of, of the Torah, the inner dimension of the Torah and Kabbalah, uh, and then to the to the lower waters, to the natural sciences, to, to mathematics and, uh, and medicine and, and so forth. And we have this, uh, this parody of, of light and water of, um, of 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 wave and uh, particle and wave to to the firmament, which is the which is the um, we we talked we talked we talked about. This all taking effect, all 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 um, resulting in uh, in positive energy. Right, one of the symptoms of coronavirus is fatigue, uh, lack of energy. So we start off with being aspirational, being um, having a desire, uh, being joyous, and having a desire to live. And then we continue on. We continue on with that. As, as it permeates every cell of our being. Let me talk about this. The, the third stage, the firmament manifests once it transforms 
into a hyper-energetic electric state within the electrons, which are the components that receive the extra energy, as we will, as will explain. So that's the particle aspect of light becomes apparent at the stage when light energy is intercepted by a receiving object. This is the process of, uh, process of giving life. This is also the process of creation. So this is on page um, page 126. And uh, it's... The, the, idea, the idea here is, is in summation is we think that um, the Kabbalah is, is abstract, we think divine wisdom is abstract, and how can it, how can it have its effect on the body, and then on the world in general, and the physical world in general, and on, on the body in particular? And here we're beginning to see that the, the energized body, which is like the photon, the wave-particle um, duality, photon, formless, a light particle striking the uh, and charging the electron, uh, Ginsburg suggests that the Hebrew word for electron should be ophon, which literally means wheel. Which it's explained here in relation to the to, to Ezekiel's um, vision of the of the divine chariot. But the uh, the, the value of, uh, of 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 ophon of what he again what he suggests should be the Hebrew word for electron is is also uh, the, the value of 137, which equals Kabbalah. So all of this, all of this relates to an energized um, life, an, inspire, an inspired life, which inspiring, being inspired relates to Bina, relates to the, uh, again, the proper function of the circulatory system, which is all that we've been discussing. The, the overreaction of the, of, the, of the immune system is, is misplaced fear, Fear is also on uh, a um, on, on the left side, just like Bina is on the left side of the uh, the tree of life, the, the Kabbalistic uh, arrangement of the of the divine channels correspond to uh, to the inner workings of our psyche, and all of, all, all of this is the, the the great mysterious number. That everyone, um, that any, any physicist, it's true to themselves, will will know that 137 is the most mysterious number in all of physics. Alpha. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there.